Now we're going to talk about menus, which you can find under Appearance and then Menus. Now menus, when you purchase a theme and you install a theme, uh, the menus will, will create, will, you'll have a, a set of a theme locations for your menus. So your primary menu is normally the main menu. Okay. The top menu you could have, an, like I have here, is a top menu and this basically links off to different, different other sites. And then you've got a footer menu, which is down the bottom, which basically, that's my menu down the bottom. Just remember, each theme is different and where the, the menu is located, okay? Um, so you might only have a primary menu. You might have a footer menu. You might have a few extra menus. In the next episode, in the next series, I'm going to actually show you how to actually create menus. But... Basically, with your menus, you have all your pages. You can cre create menus from posts, which I never do. Uh, features, but categories I do. You can create a category menu for your, for your blog of all your different categories, and you can have them in the order you want them to appear. And I'll show you how to do that. And you can also create menus from tags and slide, uh, slide groups. Okay, depending on your theme will, do, will very much depend on the options here. Now changing between one menu and another, you just select that there. And that will change to the menu. You can see that menu there is down the bottom there. Okay. Um, this is my social menu, which I've put in my footer. Now you, can, now you can create other menus as well to put into your sidebars. And I'll, and I'll show you one in a minute on how you create those um, and how you manage menus. Okay. So that's just an overview of menus. Um, it's a very powerful tool. It's included in all the latest versions of WordPress from uh, 3.6 up, 3.5 I think up actually. It was, uh, but it's been made a lot better now. And I'll show you how you, you actually create a menu and add it to a widget area.